Welcome to Passion Travel. Join us as we explore fascinating destinations, uncover hidden gems, and embark on unforgettable journeys. Subscribe now and ignite your passion for travel. Beijinho's de Coco, Coconut Sweets. Ingredients for Beijinho's de Coco. 200g sweetened condensed milk. 100g desiccated coconut, plus extra for coating. 1 tablespoon unsalted butter. Cloves, optional, for decoration. Preparation. Mixing the ingredients. In a saucepan, combine the sweetened condensed milk, desiccated coconut, and unsalted butter. Cooking the mixture. Cook the mixture over medium-low heat, stirring continuously to prevent sticking, until it thickens and pulls away from the sides of the pan. This usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Forming the Beijinhos. Once the mixture reaches a thick consistency and starts to come together, remove it from the heat and allow it to cool slightly. Shaping. With lightly buttered hands, take small portions of the mixture and roll them into small balls, about 1 inch in diameter. Coating. Roll each ball in desiccated coconut to coat evenly. Press gently to adhere the coconut to the surface of the beijinho. Decorating, optional. Place a clove on top of each beijinho for decoration, if desired. Chilling. Place the beijinhos on a plate or tray lined with parchment paper and refrigerate for at least 30 minutes to set. Serving. Once chilled and set, serve the beijinhos de coco as a delightful sweet treat. They can be stored in an airtight container in the refrigerator for several days. Thai geladas, custard tart from the Algarve. Thai geladas are traditional Portuguese custard tarts that have a delightful balance of sweetness and creaminess. Here's how you can make them. Ingredients 6 large eggs 200g granulated sugar 100g all-purpose flour 500 milliliters milk Zest of 1 lemon Butter or oil, for greasing Preparation Preheat oven Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Grease a muffin tin or individual ramekins with butter or oil. Mix eggs and sugar. In a mixing bowl, whisk together the eggs and sugar until well combined and slightly frothy. Add flour. Gradually add the flour to the egg mixture, whisking continuously to avoid lumps. Add milk and lemon zest. Slowly pour in the milk while whisking. Add the lemon zest and mix until smooth and homogeneous. Fill muffin tin. Pour the batter into the greased muffin tin or ramekins, filling each about three quarters full. Bake. Place the muffin tin or ramekins in the preheated oven and bake for approximately 25 to 30 minutes, or until the Thai geladas are set and golden brown on top. Cool and serve. Remove from the oven and allow the Thai geladas to cool slightly before serving. They can be enjoyed warm or at room temperature. Breeze's du Lis, chocolate coated almond cookies. Breeze's du Lis are traditional Portuguese almond cookies that are delicate, crisp, and wonderfully aromatic. Here's a simple recipe to make them at home. Ingredients 200g almond flour, ground almonds. 200g granulated sugar. 2 large egg whites. 1 half teaspoon almond extract. Whole almonds, for decoration, optional. Preparation Preheat oven, preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper. Mix almond flour and sugar, in a mixing bowl, combine the almond flour and granulated sugar. Add egg whites and almond extract, add the egg whites and almond extract to the almond flour mixture. Stir until well combined and a smooth dough forms. Shape the cookies. Using your hands, roll small portions of the dough into balls, about 1 inch in diameter, and place them on the prepared baking sheet, spacing them slightly apart. Alternatively, you can use a cookie scoop for uniform sizes. Decorate, optional, press a whole almond into the center of each cookie ball, gently flattening the cookie slightly. Bake. Place the baking sheet in the preheated oven and bake for about 12 to 15 minutes, or until the cookies are lightly golden around the edges. Cool. 
Remove from the oven and allow the breeze's due lease to cool on the baking sheet for a few minutes before transferring them to a wire rack to cool completely. Serve, once cooled, serve these delightful almond cookies as a treat with coffee or tea, or enjoy them on their own. Biolo de Balacha, Biscuit Cake Layered with Buttercream Biolo de Balacha is a traditional Portuguese dessert that consists of layers of biscuits soaked in coffee and layered with a creamy filling. Here's how you can make it. Ingredients 300 G Maria biscuits, or any plain tea biscuits. 200 ml strong coffee, cooled. 200 g unsalted butter, softened. 200 g sweetened condensed milk. 1 teaspoon vanilla extract. Cocoa powder or grated chocolate, for dusting, optional. Preparation. Prepare the coffee mixture. Brew strong coffee and let it cool to room temperature. Make the cream filling. In a mixing bowl, beat the softened butter until creamy. Gradually add the sweetened condensed milk and vanilla extract, continuing to beat until smooth and well combined. Assemble the Biolo de Balacha. Dip each biscuit briefly into the cooled coffee and arrange them in a single layer on a serving plate or dish. Spread a layer of the cream filling evenly over the biscuits. Repeat the layers of soaked biscuits and cream filling, finishing with a layer of cream on top. Decorate, optional. Dust the top of the Biolo de Balacha with cocoa powder or grated chocolate for decoration. Chill and serve. Refrigerate the Biolo de Balacha for at least 2 to 3 hours, or overnight, to allow the flavors to meld and the biscuits to soften. Serve. Cut into slices and serve chilled. Biolo de Balacha is typically enjoyed as a dessert or sweet treat with coffee. Sardinhas Acidas, Grilled Sardines, a Portuguese Specialty Sardinhas Acidas are a traditional Portuguese dish of grilled or roasted sardines, typically enjoyed during the summer months when sardines are in season. Here's a simple recipe to prepare them. Ingredients Fresh sardines, about 6 to 8, depending on size. Coarse sea salt Extra virgin olive oil Lemon wedges, for serving Preparation. Prepare the sardines. Rinse the fresh sardines under cold water and pat them dry with paper towels. Season the sardines. Lightly score the skin of each sardine with a knife to help them cook evenly. Sprinkle coarse sea salt over both sides of the sardines, rubbing it gently into the skin. Grill or roast the sardines. Preheat a grill or oven to medium-high heat. If grilling, Brush the grill grates with olive oil, to prevent sticking. Place the sardines directly on the grill and cook for about 3-4 to four minutes per side, or until the skin is crisp and the flesh is cooked through. If roasting, preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Place the sardines on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Drizzle olive oil over the sardines and roast for about 10-12 to 12 minutes, or until cooked through and lightly browned. Serve. Transfer the grilled or roasted sardines to a serving platter. Drizzle with a little more olive oil and serve immediately with lemon wedges on the side. Amaihoaza bulho pato, clams in a garlic and cilantro sauce. Amaihoaza bulho pato is a classic Portuguese dish featuring clams cooked in a flavorful sauce of garlic, coriander, cilantro, olive oil, and white wine. Here's how you can prepare it. Ingredients. 1 kg fresh clams, amaihoas. 4 cloves of garlic, finely chopped. Handful of fresh coriander, cilantro, chopped. 100 ml olive oil. 100 ml white wine. Salt and pepper to taste. Lemon wedges, for serving. Crusty bread, to serve. Preparation. Clean the clams. Rinse the clams under cold water to remove any grit or sand. Discard any clams that are open and do not close when tapped. Prepare the sauce. In a large skillet or pan, heat the olive oil over medium heat. Add the chopped garlic and sauté until fragrant and golden, but not browned. Cook the clams. Increase the heat to high and add the clams to the skillet. Pour in the white wine and cover the skillet with a lid. 
steam the clams for about 5 to 7 minutes, shaking the pan occasionally until all the clams have opened. Finish the dish. Remove the lid and discard any clams that have not opened. Sprinkle the chopped coriander, cilantro, over the clams and season with salt and pepper to taste. Gently toss to coat the clams in the sauce. Serve. Transfer the amihoaza bulho pato to serving plates or a large bowl. Serve hot with lemon wedges on the side and crusty bread to soak up the delicious sauce.